having a look. So today I will be talking about free will and you guessed it, the liquid crystal of the day is Labradite. Labradite is all about free will and its affirmation is as heart and mind unite, I am, we are, all is. I will say that again. As heart and mind unite, I am, we are, all is. Beautiful. I love that. I could say that 10 times over, but I won't. <laughs> All right, so the color rays for Labradite are 30% gold. I might use my left hand, actually. 30% gold, 20% blue, 20% green, 20% yellow, 10% black, and 10% black. The animal is the coyote, and the essential oil is pine oil. I don't have pine oil, I'm sorry. Okay, so... What does Labradite do? Okay, so yes, it's about free will. And free will, I think, is different for everybody. But to me, what free will means is that I have the will and also the freedom to make my own decisions, okay? And when I say that, I'm, you know, no one can say, Renee, you have to abide by this. Well, there's certain rules we need to abide by and laws, but there's other things like, Renee, you need to go to the shop right now and buy peppermint sticks. I don't know. I have the free will. Renee, you can go and buy peppermint sticks, which I wouldn't because I don't like peppermint. But Renee, you can go and buy peppermint sticks now or you can go tomorrow. That's why I like to take the word should out of my vocabulary. So whenever you talk to me, you will maybe realize you may not, but I never say should, never. Because when you say the word should, it actually puts pressure on yourself. So I should go for a walk today. I should clean the bathroom today. I should make a healthy meal. I should do my book work, which I still haven't done. <laughs> I will do it. Um, you know, all of those things that I should be doing, should, 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 puts pressure on. But if you say, I could go for a walk today, I could clean the bathroom today, I could do my books today, I could, um, I don't know, whatever else I said. But do you see how the difference between should feels like you must and it gives you pressure, whereas could is like, well, yeah, I could do that. Or I could have a snooze and go back to sleep or have a rest or read a book or go for a run instead of a walk or go to the gym or go and do some yoga or don't do anything. See how there's that difference? So take the word should out of your dictionary and just use could because that in itself gives you free will because you get to decide, not the other way around, okay? Um, but free will will mean different things to different people. Now, on the mental, on the physical and emotional side of things, um, free will. Labradite helps with stress, eye and brain disorders, high blood pressure, metabolic and hormone imbalances. It's good for menstrual tension. So is malachite. And um, there's another really good one for 
malachite and I'll get back to you. It's just, um, it's floated away for a sec. But malachite's really good for period tension. Um, so is leopard delight. I knew it would come back. Um, and it can also help you find the true cause of a dis, dis ease. So you can work with Labradite to, um, you know, go within and actually find out the potential emotional trigger that may cause you the dis-ease that you are having or going through. Now, a quick word on that. Yes, we can get sick because of something emotional. Yes, we can get sick because of something nutritional. Yes, we can get sick because of something physical. Yes, we can get sick on something spiritual. But to always put the pin on spiritual and emotional is completely like wiping out any possibility of being a human, living in a human's body, <laughs> and the fact that humans can have nutritional um, deficiencies, they can have structural um, issues that, you know, cause them to have dis-ease, dis-ease, so D-I-S, a little hyphen E A S E dis ease. You're not at ease with yourself. You're at dis ease. Okay, um, and your physical body can just something can just go a little bit wrong with that, and you can get sick. So to say that we only get sick because of something spiritual or emotional would be a little bit funny because we are physical bodies and physical matter living in a physical world. So no more of this, I'm too spiritual, I'm a star child, I don't belong here. Yes, you may be all of those things, but you do belong here, okay? You are a human being living a human existence with spiritual traits or spiritual um, abilities, but you do fit in the world or you wouldn't be here. You are meant to be here for a reason. So stop all of this, take me home, I don't belong here, because the more you say that, the more your body will actually believe that and the more and more uncomfortable you will actually become living in this world. And let's face it, you were born here, so it's not like you're going to, you know, cark it tomorrow. Well, you could, but I highly doubt it. All right, so start getting used to living in this world, okay? Don't be a Dorothy and want to click, click your fingers, your heels three times in your ruby red slippers and go home or end up back in Kansas or wherever it is. You are here and now and you are a physical body and a physical being. Living a physical, emotional, nutritional structural and spiritual existence okay enough said going back to labradite what it can do on the mental emotional side of things before i do that actually the chemical composition of this card is calcium 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 sodium aluminium silicate okay and the main country of origin is um, Finland, Canada, and Mexico. Labradorite is actually um, like a sister or a brother to Moonstone. Okay, so it looks very similar to um, Moonstone. However, it's 
darker in in color okay so it's a dark crystal i'm just having a look in here i've oh, i have got it oh see i should do lives in bed more often so i've got a beautiful labradorite pendant that i bought oh gosh when i first started kinesiology school i think it was might need a bit of a clean so don't look too close but this is labradorite okay and what it can actually do is before i before i had this i would like be making i was a barista at the time and i would be making like a coffee and i would think of someone and then 10 seconds later they would walk in and i was like did i just think that or am i just making that up in my head so and all of these things would, you know, start happening and, you know, what I would think would actually happen. And it was just like too bizarre. So at the time, not now, but at the time it was too much for me. So lab, I bought this to actually help calm my, it didn't dull it. It just took the, not, I wouldn't say shock, but the, surprise of thinking of someone and then them turning up if that made sense if that makes sense so it sort of helps you what's the right word it just helps you become more at ease with those sorts of encounters okay so labradite and um seeing so it's labradite day i think i will um wear that so that will be my pendant for the day along with everything else I wear around my neck lately um anyway I will put that on later okay so what does labradite do on the uh mental emotional side of things so i will tell you aren't i silly playing with jewelry and trying to do this at the same time all right so what does labradite do on the mental emotional it helps when you are unfocused scattered and over and have an overactive mind Okay, maybe I need Labradite because I'm trying to do too many things at once. It also helps when there is no access to the subconscious mind and you are trapped in old thoughts, okay, and, and an unimaginative physical world. So you, you don't really use your imagination and you're kind of feeling trapped and stuck, okay, um, and you don't can you you actually are not accessing your subconscious so um not your conscious mind but your subconscious mind and it also helps when you are under the influence of somebody else's energy field okay so that can be um you know people like if you go to a shopping center for example and all of a sudden you start picking up on the vibe of the shopping center or um you know someone that you're around all of a sudden your um personality changes or your um your demeanor changes um or someone kind of has a hold over you is another one as well okay so what it does is it actually helps you to get ordered intellectual thoughts and blend them with the intu intuitive wisdom. Okay, there you go. It's on my neck with everything else. <laughs> I wear three today. There's no rules. Um, so anyway, it helps you get have ordered intellectual thoughts blended with intuitive wisdom. Okay. It helps you to recognize the truth behind thoughts and actions. So your thoughts 
or other people's thoughts, okay? It also gives you wisdom. It's wisdom of one's spiritual purpose. So it can actually help you find your spiritual purpose. Now, you can do your name, Trinity. That helps with your um, life purpose. But for spiritual purpose, you can work with Labradite and you can also work with me and have a liquid crystal um, session. And we can look at anything from health conditions to spirit, spiritual, um, you know, spiritual purpose to emotional issues. We can do anything with the liquid crystals, okay? They're $88 for 45-minute consults online with a 20 mil bottle of um you get one 20 mil bottle of um liquid crystal remedy postage is not included um going back to the labradite it also helps you to become imaginative and it gives you original thoughts now on the spiritual it can help prepare the body and soul for i'm going to say the recalibration process because i don't like the word ascension it's used too much it gives you it gives clear access to one's akashic records via meditation which aids in the recovering or the uncovering of your true spiritual purpose it calms an overactive an unfocused mind and empowers the imagination by raising new ideas for whose seed may be found in the spirit. Sorry, my phone went funny there. Um, this, so Labradite has a strong extraterrestrial influence, being, allowing you to facilitate intergalactic communication and anchor their involved concepts onto earth. Now I will quickly read the affirmation, the the um message for Labradite, and then I will go. Okay, so this is from Justin Mohika Asar, Blue Angel Publishing. All right, let me get that right. Okay, you ready? Let's see that? Okay. Enter my light, accept my truth and blessings. For in the darkness of my physical form, I hide the endless light of the universe. I am an infinite resource of all that is and was and can be. Let us reopen the doors of understanding so you, so you may see again that the power of change rests in your hands. Go forth, light the go forth, light the torch of free will and create. Raise your hands to the bright and burning body of Ra, which is the sun. Call it forth in a single ray that I can filter into the crown. Feel me run through you and remove outer influence, refining focus on the ultimate goal of self. Walk with me now through the fires of purification to the great halls of a time past and arise with the true purpose of your spirit firm in hand. Extraterrestrial and earth, and earth solar spirits, hear my call. Through me, join as in the movement towards the ultimate goal of the Supreme Creator's breath and fulfill the unfilled purpose. Rebirth the ancient the ancient Atlantean way of oneness and unite the star tribes so they may again shine as a single star. This this time is mastered physicality. I was wondering why I was going on and on about your physical body and accepting that we are physical bodies okay and that just said it all because I was like 
in my head going, Renee, why are you rambling about physical bodies and all of that? So I'm glad um, Labradite <laughs> explained that to me. And just to show you, so 